have linked up with the family and we're staying in a cabin. Cabin number one. And then we've just got the RV parked here. And then Grand and Golf Ball, that's cabin number two. And we're right on the riverbank. We are at the Hiwassi Okoe State Park. And we are going to go float the Hiwassi. Molly's here. We stayed here last night. Molly, Grand and Golf Ball. We're gonna go float the Hawassi today. Molly, Emily and I, before everybody else gets here, everybody else is heading in this afternoon. Today we're gonna to do it at Webb Rose, which has been in, been in existence for decades. And I think we're gonna do those little duckies, kayaks, like inflatable kayaks today. Let me show you around where we're staying. It's pretty nice. We're usually RV people, but Granny Golf Ball put us up in a I guess an Airbnb, VRBO, something like that. And it's really nice. And then there's this deck that goes out over the creek. And then there's another house that we stayed in last night. And then there's a fire pit, volleyball court, another wraparound deck. And then this is where we stayed last night. And I saved the small bedroom for my sister and brother-in-law. They don't deserve the big bedroom. We took the big bedroom. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Early bird gets the worm. Look. I think we can learn a lot of valuable life lessons here, Susie. We're saying goodbye to Grand and Golf Ball because we may never see them again. <laughs> the old man river. Grand still thinks she's going to go rafting. How old are you? Not it's rafting. not rafting. Give up on rafting because you were mean to me. Oh, you can go uh, when we go Monday. I said you were mean to me. I'm not she going can go rafting. tubing on Monday. You can go tubing. Not tubing. Well, you can do it. It's old here. person approved. Waiting 74. Look at them, they're elite what, athletes. <laughs> Web bros. In the Hawassi River. I'm in a very, like I think I'm developing dementia. <laughs> because everywhere we go these days, I keep forgetting my wallet. Luckily, I knew I had it with me. I just did not have it on me, so I had to go back to the truck. We're getting our pep talk. <laughs> We're learning our lessons. Feet down forward, hang on to your paddle, and grab your bar. Okay. I've had this on my bucket list for many, many years. Very exciting. We're suited up, we're ready to go. Sunscreened, ready to rock and roll. Switch to the waterproof camera. The audio is probably horrible because GoPro, GoPro 9 is a horrible f camera. Don't buy one. Actually, it's a modern miracle. I shoot all my, everything I shoot on my channels with a GoPro 9, but you have to buy the media mod or the microphones suck like they're probably popping right now but i gotta be waterproof for the river we're riding in the back of a truck back of the hey, you truck you can't take it with you, you you're a... the next word out of his mouth was lawyer back of a truck back of hey, the you truck you can't take it with you, you you're a... he was very funny he was highly skeptical of my gopro camera on the tripod and i guess i look like a lawyer but i finally convinced him that i was not a lawyer I was simply working for OSHA, and I was inspecting this uh, carriage ride that we were about to go on. <laughs> so he and I laughed, and we had fun. Hi, Molly. Hey, Mama. Five-mile journey. Don't fall off. Don't fall off, Molly. Don't play. <laughs> so we just went up a giant mountain. <laughs> now we're going down the giant mountain. <laughs> Having the time of our life here, baby. You can kind of see the river through there. There we are. <laughs> Y'all be careful coming off this step right here, turn around backwards and come down it like a ladder. And... There we go, there we go. It's go time. Watch out, let these people go. Alright, I'm going to go catch up with my ladies. We're the last group that got in. What a beautiful river.
That first part was kind of choppy. So he said the emergency evacuation route was you walk up to this road and then after a while the road goes away and then you have to walk up and walk down the train track. So if you have a, <laughs> if you have a blowout, you go on the train track. A lot of the people that we're in the group with have done this river before. So we're gonna hang out at the back because we've never done the river before. And they said stay to the left throughout the day. So we'll see how it goes. So this was our first trip ever to float the Hawassi. It's a big, wide river, and it's not very deep in most places. And we were there kind of early in the year, so the water was flowing. It's a little over five-mile trip. And we were, Molly and Emily and I, we didn't really know what we were doing because we'd never done it before. So we, you know, we talked to the people at Webb Brothers and they, they said everything's going to be okay. Once we got out of the water, you know, you're just kind of on your own. So we were kind of following another group. We thought they knew what they were doing. It turns out they said they didn't know what they were doing either. <laughs> but we had fun. Uh, it was a little nerve wracking. Now, the next day we would raft the Okoe with a real guide. And then we would come back and do this again with the boys. And the second time was much more uh, at ease. I don't know. I don't think so. Hi, <laughs> yeah, no. Mali. Yeah, like, How'd you do? Okay. You I did good. You were straight. That's good. Are we having fun? <laughs> Look at that. I I was so stressed. I didn't even film it. I can't see what's over this Nope. Molly got hung on a rock. Uh -huh. Molly got hung on a rock. How'd you get off? Just keep scooting? I kept gotten in one of those. I was hoping that girl behind you would push me with her body. She almost did. We're waiting for everybody to catch up because we don't want to be the first to go, but there's a giant eagle that this flew up and in that tree. We're not going first ever again. No. <laughs> We're staying right behind y'all. Well, back there, I was like, he told us to go left. Why are they going right? And we went down. I was like, that, this is not the way to go. No. It's every man for himself, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, everybody's good. Look at those ducks. Little baby ducks. I gotta get situated to go straight here. My gosh, look at all those little baby ducks. <laughs> all right, that was risky. I did it for my YouTube viewers. All right, we are about three miles in and we think we're, the next spot is the three foot drop. So we're very anxious about that. So this man in a kayak up here, he helped us navigate that last little area. And he said to hang to the right during the three foot drop. We're gonna take his advice because he's been out here before. He had a helmet. Pretty sure he knows more about it than we do. 
so we were freaking out about three foot drop we followed our friend and we've actually gone through three foot drop and we didn't even know it it was a pretty good little drop and then we went through a place called stair steps and i didn't film any of that because i was freaking out and i was following him and he took us on a good line so now we're to the railroad bridge and then after the railroad bridge is the end of our journey i knew we had to be getting close because the last time i checked we were at three and a half miles there's the railroad bridge so you come through the railroad tracks here and then you're kind of you go along the left hand side of the bank here and you wind up back at webb brothers and it was a fun fun little float it was kind of cloudy that day so it wasn't too hot and very fun all done we did it yeah. now for the hardest part of the trip getting out of this Susie and Justin just got here. They just pulled in. Now the boys are here. Everybody's here. Arden riding shotgun. All right, we're ready. Okay. AJ is going to climb here. Monkey swing over to here. Monkey swing to there. Monkey swing to the third. And then flip and do a cannonball. Go ahead. Flip? I want to flip off the last one. Flip up. Do a backwards flip and do a cannonball when you hit. And, Go for it. And four monkey swings. Four, three. Well, one, two, yeah, three. You don't have to do four. That's too much. I record, <laughs> I record you doing it. Preston is brave in the water. Nobody else is coming. Preston's, <laughs> Preston's in maximum recovery mode right now. Is Taylor in? <laughs> have you got in? It's not too cold. Look, Preston's in it. Be a man. Are you going to be a man? Now just get your belly button. Do it. Do it. Be a man. <laughs> you want to be a little baby your whole life or be a man? There you go. <laughs> and we've got the shrimp boil going. I mean, we're, this is getting pretty serious. Pretty serious. All right, we just had our shrimp boil. Everybody's very full now. They're doing marshmallows. Mr. Justin brought out the cigars for us. Look at this. Liga Pravada. Liga Pravada number nine. favorite. So we're finishing up our cigars. We've had s'mores. My, my beautiful wife, Emily, made me a s'more. I hadn't had a s'more in years, Mom. You did good. And now Kaylee has made brownies and she's brought those out and mr justin's drinking this brown drink in coors lights he's mixing he's got s'mores brownies brown drink coors lights and cigar and smoke from a fire that's right what a man literally hairs growing through his shirt like wolverine Preston, he doesn't know what a shirt is. He's just out here. It's a primal weekend. <laughs> He's just out here soaking in the earth, the carbon. You have to let it touch your chest. We're going to finish this. Then call it a night. Taste it.